guys today i'm going to give you the answers for page 10 listening activity so i just want you to listen for second or third fourth time depending on how many times you had to repeat the listening activity so just listen once track eight ladies and gentlemen welcome to this year's youth photo competition I'm Dorinda Markham, and this is my assistant, Dave Williams. We have eight talented young photographers here tonight, and it is our job to announce the winners in each category. Dave? First of all, we have the prize for the best black and white photograph. Who wins this category, Dorinda? This prize goes to... Liu Chang for his photograph, Boat Woman. Next, Dorinda... Who has won the prize for best digital photograph? The winner is Anna Petrova for this amazing photo of strawberries. Next, we're going to find out who wins the prize for best photograph by someone under 16. Dorinda? The under 16 prize goes to Imran Sharif for his photograph of this break in rural India. Well done, Imran. Next, who took the best animal photograph, and what did she take a photo of? The prize is for this remarkable photograph of a dog with two legs, taken by Molly Nataya. The next category is Best Underwater Photo. Who took the best photo in this category, Dorinda? This prize goes to Mark Hewitt for his incredible shot of fish and corals under the ocean. Well done, Mark. Now on to the best portrait. Dorinda? The winner here is Tandy Samora for this fantastic picture of an old man. And now for the prize for best landscape. And the winner is Craig Johnson for this photograph of a... All right, guys, I'm going to stop you, uh, stop this recording right here. And I just want you to uh, let you know something, and I'm going to do it in Spanish, guys. Es importante que a partir de ahora, usted empiece a hacer buen uso de las actividades de escucha. Chicos, tengan en cuenta, más del 80% de las personas en colegios, universidades, profesionales, etcétera, etcétera, el 80% de las personas saben qué dice en un letrero, en un libro, en eh, cualquier parte, ¿ok? Pero solamente el 20%, chicos, puede comprender actividades de escucha. Y es allí donde yo quiero retarlos a ustedes a concentrarnos en listening activities, ¿ok? No es un secreto que atrás del libro ustedes pueden obtener las transcripciones de cada actividad de listening, pero nuevamente me gustaría retarlos a ustedes para que puedan intentar hacerlo sin ese apoyo. Les confieso algo. Yo hice la actividad eh, haciéndola, pude recordar aquellas épocas donde tenía que quedarme hasta altas horas de la noche, chicos, um, haciendo transcripciones de películas enteras, ¿ok? Y me pasó lo mismo. Ustedes pueden ver aquí los signos de pregunta, los question marks, y son palabras que no entendí. Aquí hay una, aquí tengo otra, no entendí que dijo allí, y aquí hay otra, ¿ok? Para algunos de ustedes esto puede ser, ¡Wow! Pero usted es profesor de inglés. Así es, pero no soy gringo. Es, es diferente, ¿ok? Así que los invito, chicos, a atreverse, a retarse, a trabajar con las actividades de escucha. Así que si vemos bien, eh, la actividad número uno era escuchar. Listen and match the winners with the photos. So, usando un traductor, un diccionario... Eh, tendríamos que hacer esto que está acá. Te, tenemos aquí fotos y habría que saber quiénes eran los encargados o quiénes fueron uh, the one in charge of taking this each photo, ¿ok? The old man, the bridge, um, the fish, and so on. So, I had to do the uh, activity, guys, and I did it. Check it. What I did, uh, I wrote down the type of photos Okay, I did repeat this activity two or three times, three times if I'm not wrong, okay? And then I got the type of photos, black and white, digital, under 16, animals, underwater. Now, esto que ven aquí no lo hice eh, directamente, no. 
para eso guys I had to write down the type of photos then I had to write down the name and then I had to write, uh, write down what the photo was about ok así que para esto me tomé tres Uh, tre, uh, I, I had to repeat this activity three times No me da pena chicos, lo acepto okay? La idea es obtener los mejores resultados So, um, you had to listen to these guys three times And then you are going to know who these photos belongs to okay? So, uh, tengo la respuesta Y aquí puedo uh, especificarles algunas Por ejemplo, I have that the black and white photos belongs to Liu eh, creo que no había que escuchar sobre qué era la black and white photo Solamente viendo que era la única black and white Sin embargo, no entendí qué decía uh, después de, de, antes de decir la palabra woman If you have the answer, send it through Google Classroom okay? eh, También tuve que escuchar varias veces eh, esto La photography about People o under 16 ¿Por qué? Under 16 para mí significa Personas que tienen 16 o menos años Y van a ver que hay una pregunta que es tricky Que a mí me confundió Alright, one more time If you had the answer Or if you have uh, the explanation for this point Let me know, ok? So, guys, yo tuve que categorizar, all right? Escuché el listening tres veces, hice mi tabla. Supongo que usted pudo haber hecho la de usted en un cuaderno, en una hoja de Word, and, or so on, so on, so on. So, now we have um, activity 1B. It says, listen again and circle true or false. True or false. So, we have number one. There are seven different prices. True or false, hay siete premios diferentes. Mm. Si usted hizo esto que está acá, you are going to have the answer, guys. So we have, now, let's see how many participants we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many type of photos? We have eight type of photos. And it says there are seven different prices. So I would say this one is false. False. Because we have eight prices okay now number two we have in run is not 16 yet now es aquí donde tuve que repetir por una tercera vez porque eh, el listening solamente me da la información quien gana lo gana in run under 16 so yo supongo que in run he could be 16 he could be 10 he could be 15 he could be 14 y es aquí donde consulté a unos compañeros para ver si de pronto yo estaba eh, equivocado. Y la respuesta, chicos, es la misma. Hey, pues no nos da mucha información la listening, ¿ok? Sin embargo, chicos, a uh, checking and double checking, it says that it is true. But for me, I need more information, guys, for this uh, point. Ingram is not 16 yet. It's not 16 yet. Bueno, uh, analizando bien, puede que en el mejor de los sentidos que nos quiera de, eh, decir que este no tiene ni 16 años. Y si tiene los 16, ah, that's my problem, that's my problem. In, the, in this case, could be false. But no, the book guy says that it is true. Now we have number three. Tandy's photograph is of, is of her father. Now, uh, Tandy, me voy acá, busco the name, Tandy, and I have, I got it right here, and I see that Tandy's photo was about an old man. Now, taking into account the listening, it says that it is a photo about an old man, and that's it. So, we don't have too much information. In this case, number three is false is false okay let's move on to number four craig took his photo in canada craig i'm gonna go i'm going to look for the name of craig i got it right here and y esta fue una de ellas right a glacier glass mm, i don't know but i know that the picture was about this type of iceberg okay 
however guys i did not get uh, the specific name but i know you have the answer write it down back uh, from the transcriptions of your book okay and so craig took his photo in canada yeah the listening activity said that the photo was taken in canada so this one is true now number five marcella wins two prizes mm. in this case i have to go back i need to go for marcella's name um i only have a guy one time so obviously number five is false she only won a prize and was the youth photo uh, about a folk folk dancing okay folks that and that's it now guys um be careful with the word my bad now uh do we have point two it says match the answers with the questions who took the best animal photograph in this case animal about a dog one more time me voy aquí a lo que hice y busco por eh, el dog here we have the dog and obviously here i have the name it is going to be easier for you guys to answer so we have the name mali here you we got it so you have to write down number one right here mali nitaya took the best animal photo okay now number two what did she take a photograph of um it says Mali, Mali a dog. It says it it it's of a dog with two legs. I'm going to double check it. I have the dog, the dog with two legs. So it is now obvious. It is of a dog with two legs. So this one is number two. Now number three, who wins the prize for the best photograph? Who wins the prize for the best photograph so i guess guys it is gonna be marzella so it says here youth the best youth photograph okay marzella so i have here marzella wins it here we have number three and obviously number four is this one what does marcella win she wins a new camera guys pretty much that was the activity you had to complete so i hope you have done it yet uh well if done sorry but the time is over on google classroom guys thank you so much if you have any question please contact me and if you have the answers for these and for this from the transcriptions go ahead and send them and i'm gonna give you extra points okay have a great day guys bye bye